What's up, guys? My name is Miles. My name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we are reacting to races that stop the country. Yabbies, crabs, dogs, and camels. Yabbies, crabbies, doggies, and camelies? Backroads. I'm super excited to see this. I've never seen camel racing uh, or crab racing. And it says yabbies, but it's got a crawfish emoji. So maybe so I guess you, and thing. this is a crawfish. So I guess you guys call them yabbies. Uh, we call those them crawfish, are crayfish, mud thick. bugs, uh, yummy, whatever. Yeah. Uh, so we guys, before we, uh, this video was requested to us by Renee or Rennie. It's Renee. It's probably Renee. Uh, thank you so much for requesting the video. Uh, we truly appreciate it. We're super excited to hop in. But guys, before we do, if you would go ahead and give us a thumbs up, it truly helps <laughs> us out in getting these videos out to more people. Also, if you would go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon, that way you guys can stay informed on our future posts. And if you'd like to help support the channel even more and get an exclusive YouTube short shout out, click the join button down below. And if you have a video to request, Click on the link in our description to our Discord, and you can throw the links in there to the videos. Oh, and I, I don't want to come off pretentious like everybody sent us stuff, but if you send us something, our P.O. box doesn't always tell us if it's been delivered or whatever. Shoot us a message on uh, Discord to let us know if you've sent something so we can kind of be waiting for it. Or email. You can email us. Yeah, you can uh, email us as well. Yeah. Uh, Link is in the description for our email as well. Yeah. Or what we call them is crawfish. Those are my all-time favorite food in the world. They're delicious. Uh, we boil them Cajun style. I'm not sure if you guys do yabby boils, uh, but it's it's amazing. Yabby. Crawfish boils. Bring it on! Bring it on! Fastest yabby wins the race, and everyone's an expert. Looks like you got a lot of play money there. Those things are huge too. Yeah. You've done it year after year. What are your tips on the best yabby to buy? Well, I always find that the smaller yabby, it's a little bit like the horse racing terminology. The less weight, the less weight they carry, the more chance they're going to go the distance. So that's always been my pick. A little fight. Quite often the crowd gets Their very Their claws excited. are the huge. Yabbies, yeah. So have a bigger stride, but uh, yeah, I've always yeah, there he goes. To be Number seven. Of the big ones and, and carrying less weight. <clears throat> That's so cool how they've got like a thing built. Yeah. It like looks that. like just a spoked wheel that yeah. they welded on. Will the Yabby prices go up and up as the night wears on with a few well, more beers? Yeah, certainly. The first one's always pretty strong. People have got plenty of pockets of money. We will have fleeced a few after that first one. So there'll be a few drop out and a few more come in. But I think uh, we'll go through a bit of a lull, normally two and three, and then the fourth race we'll see. I wonder the what the max bet is. I would have hoped. Yeah. But it, it certainly started off very strong. This is so cool. Wow. Yeah, yeah, this is this is the, the top of the drop, the best of the best, <coughs> out of the Cooper, the Melbourne Cup of all yabbies. May the best yabby win. <coughs> and true to form, the more the night goes on, the bigger the money gets. <laughs> I love it. And then you eat them afterwards. Yeah. They got weird colors on their claws. They do. They're kind of bluish. I wonder if it's based off of the water they. Well, it's probably from. a different species of That's crawfish. Yeah, like Derby. Alan's bringing me into town, but he can't help go. making a quick detour. Oh God! My first crab. Is it? Wow. That's the day's work. How'd we go, Arch? Yeah, pretty good, North. G'day, Hi. Heather. Mark Hi. Norville. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Derby. Thank wow. you. Mark what Norville, they call him Norves, is an artist and teacher. I'm at his art gallery with... And a crab racer on the side. The locals Ooh. are throwing a crab <clears throat> race to welcome me to town. Ah, come and choose a crab. Which one do we all pick? I just see food. The I do too. <laughs> It's one making me uh, hungry. Wants to eat you the most is probably going to run the quickest. <laughs> oh, so I get my name on it. Yep. There you go, Heather. That's a winner. Piece Yours is monster. twice the size of mine. <laughs> He's going to go like far away. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of looked like he hasn't ever like held on to one. Right. The Derby Mud Crab Races for 2015. We've got a lot of visitors from all around Australia and some from overseas. It's going yeah, live it's in the ABC. Live all the way around Australia <laughs> the Derby Cup. All right, ready? We'll get the crabs ready, yeah? Get them going. All right, yeah. I'll get, we'll get them out. 
Oh, you do need gloves for these I don't think there's actually a large audience, like he was saying. Yeah. I think that was just a joke. Well, it might be. It's just right now, it's just a small. Well, no, this is the race. Well, I'm saying they're doing it just for the ABC people. Oh. You know what I'm saying? That's Heather. Heather's That's Heather. This is so cool. I that love all of this. Track that. Until some keen skiers got together in the 1980s and transformed That's beautiful. into this yeah. fairy tale village. Holy cow. I have never thought. Look at the pretty doggies. The canine chorus is at fever pitch. Many of the mushers are old hands. Andrew and Lisa Gersbach have been racing their dogs at Dinner Plain for more. That one back there is husky. Yeah. <laughs> Get it? It's a Malamute, though. <laughs> oh. Is, no, it's, is it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what a Malamute looks like. They probably it's look a the huge dog. It might be a Malamute. It's a passion. Because Huskies are fairly small. With the dogs. Like any medium-sized dog. Well, I hope we get the, <clears throat> get the dogs to do their best, come home healthy, and whatever the result is, is what it is. But I'd like to finish up at the top of the field. Today's events range from teams of two to eight dogs, and their drivers use voice commands to steer them. I can see the dogs are having an absolute ball. This is what they've been bred for, to pull sleds in these conditions. Courtney Pearson is originally from Canada. And you know, it seems weird, but really that is one of the reasons why the, the Siberian Husky, you know, most of the Huskies were bred. For, yeah, they're work dogs. Yeah. Brought her Huskies with her. When so, she migrated to oh, she jumped over. And she crossed mm -hmm. over. Though. That's funny. Well, she's from Canada. This is probably not. And she was an absolute <clears throat> psycho. And the only way I could really enjoy her was to take her out sledding. Because if I tried to you walk her like to. a regular dog, your arm just got dragged off. One thing led to another, and now I have a whole team. <laughs> what do you get out of it? Oh, you get to spend time with your best friends. But where do you want? <laughs> Sounds a little sad. But yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted to do this. So have I. I mean, to be fair, I'd rather be the guy just sitting in the back, you know, in the, the thing. Well done. Good dog. Marie. 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 There's something about camels I just love. They're so odd. They're so odd. simple and odd animals. Yeah. Camel racing. <clears throat> I find camel racing like more like odd than like crawfish racing. I don't know why. I don't. I've seen camel Because I know people ride camels, but like, I've never heard of camel racing. I've heard of camel racing. I've heard about it from, I don't remember where, but I think it was somewhere in Africa, like South Africa maybe, or hmm. Northern Africa or something. But I've heard of uh, camel racing from somewhere. Northern Africa would make more sense. But... Oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> The Camel Cup is a recognition of this town's unique heritage. It commemorates the pioneering <laughs> the spirit they of the camel drivers oh. who came to this remote oh. part of the world and made it their home. Well done, guys. Go, 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 go. Mm, jockeys. Like, comment, and subscribe. I, like I wonder it. if they call them jockeys as well. Guys, if y'all didn't watch our video yesterday, you need to check that out as well. Uh, it was about some competitions too in Australia. 
Um, I love these videos. Yeah, and these are so animals cool. Are awesome. Yeah, especially animals that we don't have or that we have but we eat instead of race. Yeah, right. It is what it is. But yeah, no, this was awesome. I would love to um, spectate these sports. Hopefully, we'll plan uh, when we go somewhere. Well, I'll 100% like be doing a, a yabby race if I come to Australia. Mm, yabby eating race. I'll be eating the shit out of some yabbies. If y'all have a lot, which I've, I've read that they're like starting to outnumber shrimp, so. Hmm. Or prawns, whatever. <clears throat> but guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see our future videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. And if you want to support us directly, hit that join button. And with that being said, my name's Miles. My name is Fed. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Out.